Hey everybody, this is a quick fajita marinade, so it's going to be a little bit different than the other recipes we've talked about this week um, that take pre-prepped chicken and use them in different ways to make different recipes. This is actually just a quick marinade. I like it um, because you really only have to marinate the chicken strips um, for 15 minutes, so it's a great, like, crap, I forgot to make dinner, I forgot to prep dinner, um, weeknight meal. So all I've got here is in a large resealable bag. I have all my spice mixes, and I'm going to post the recipe separately for you guys. Um, but basically in here we just have chili powder, garlic, cumin, salt. Um, I added, these are going to be for my husband's lunch, so I actually added a little cayenne pepper as well, so we like some spicy. Um, and then the other thing I always like to make note is when you are using and getting a chili powder blend, always look for the salt free, because you're going to be adding salt to this, and that way you get to control the salt that you are putting in your recipes, um, not the company that's making your blend. And also, salt is really cheap. So for a lot of bottles, like a bottle this size, if it had salt added, half the bottle would have been salt. If you look on the ingredients list and how much sodium there is per serving, nearly half of these blends is salt. So you're paying a lot of money for something that's really, really in, um, inexpensive. So that way, I can add my salt separately. So, I'm gonna take that. Um, I'm making two servings of fajitas, so I'm going to add for the recipe, I'm going to double the oil, so I usually use divided use, um, oh, it's a brand new oil bottle, um, two teaspoons of olive oil, one teaspoon to cook the chicken in, and one person, one teaspoon to marinate, but since I'm making a double recipe, this is going to be, I'm going to put two in here, um, and then use two to cook, because I can do that. All right, so, um, and also this is great for any of your veggies, so I'm just going to be adding chicken to this. You can also add sliced bell pepper, sliced onion are fantastic. Um, you can use instead of chicken, you can always chili, you can use shrimp, um, another good uh, kind of veggie like snow peas, and pretty much anything that you have in a fajita. Um, bell peppers and onions are the best though. Um, so you can see it doesn't look like that much. We're basically just kind of making the spices chunky. Um, and then once we put the chicken in, so I already have diced up my chicken. So I had a big bulk, um, a big bulk container of chicken breast, boneless, skinless chicken breast that I portioned out um, using half of them for my lunches for the week. So those are cooking in the oven right now. Um, and I'm just making plain salt, pepper, garlic, chicken breast, and then the other half I sliced up for this. Seal the bag, and then you just toss to coat. And you can see you just kind of want to rub all that chicken and all the spices. I'm going to get a little air out of my bag so that I can uh, toss it around a little more. So you just want to go like that. And then now I have this nice coated fajita chicken that's ready. You can throw it in the fridge um, or you want to throw it in the fridge for at least 15 minutes. Um, I can leave this overnight. Um, another great one is taking it and throwing it in the freezer so that all you have to do um, is defrost. So if you go on those Costco runs and you buy a giant bulk thing of boneless skin chicken breast, or when the chicken breasts go on sale in the grocery store because they have to be um, sold by that day, you can portion them out, um, put a spice in, they're already in the gallon freeze bags, um, and then just throw it in the freezer. And then whenever you're wanting to cook it on a weeknight meal, um, just pull out of your freezer, defrost, throw it in the pan, and you're good to go. So that looks just about ready. I'm gonna seal the rest of the air out of my bag. So my bag looks like this. Nice chicken. I'm gonna put this in the fridge and cook it up tonight, um, later tonight after dinner for my husband's lunches for the week. So when I'm doing my meal prep. Um, if he was working gray bar still, I would be cooking this and we'd probably have it for dinner. And then I would use it for um, meals. But so that's ready to go. Oh, and if you're gonna freeze it, try to make it as flat as possible. Um, so this is still, I'd make it, try to make it a little bit flatter than that but you have it flat like that for storage and for quick defrost. So there you go, there you have it. There's your quick fajita prep.